I think about a typical day in the life of my life, right? And oftentimes when I'm posting on social media, it really is a highlight reel. It isn't so much like I'm doing stuff every single day. It's really just me at home, waking up, use the bathroom, brush my teeth, scrape my tongue, water, water floss, you know, the whole thing. Uh, because I got my teeth done a couple years ago, which is wild to me. Cause it just, it still feels like yesterday. I haven't gotten my teeth done. So, <clears throat> uh, but through that experience, it's really shown me how intentional I have to be about taking care of myself and how, you know, it's more than just a morning routine. Life is, life is very, it's a lot of, it's a set of a lot of promises that we have to keep to ourselves and you know I wanted to be more consistent I wanted to be more intentional about myself you know over the years I was still trying to figure out what that meant and today being Monday start of the new week <sighs> intentionality is key and you know having to go through each and every step every morning to take care of my teeth has definitely trickled down into me being more aware of my body. And a big part of taking care of my body is really getting to know myself from head to toe, inside and out. I've had the same facial routine since I was a child because I have a skin condition called pityriasis alba no relation to jessica alba and it really just involves two products hydrocortisone cream 0.5 strength sunblock eucerin specifically so my dermatologist recommended this years ago years ago right and i've never wavered there have been times where I was like, let me try not putting anything on my face. And then all of a sudden, I'm peeling. My face is as dry as the desert. And I also know that like, you know, it takes time to switch products and do all those things. But now at 40, I, I'm starting to question like, chapstick. Pretty sure my lips are addicted to chapstick but at 40 i'm starting to question like can i switch things up and the reason i was told to put that mixture together i'm running out that's why i'm dabbing it <laughs> um it was because i get my hyperpigmentation i get white spots if i don't do that so generally my face would be a lot more pale than the rest of my body because of the hydrocortisone mixed with the sunblock. Um, but as I'm getting older, I'm realizing like my skin is a little bit more sensitive, uh, more acne prone, bumpier. So I'm considering big time a new facial routine, which is now part of the whole getting to know myself from inside out, top down, down top. But before I can move on to do anything in my day, I think it's important to have a good routine as well. At bare minimum, as long as my bed is fixed, you know, I'm being kind of lazy right now, but bear with me. It'll make sense in a minute. <laughs> but fixing your bed every morning is a small promise that you could keep to yourself. Making your bed every morning is a small promise that you can keep to yourself at the bare minimum to start out with as you develop better habits, better awareness of self, better awareness of your good and bad habits. You know, as we get older, 
Are we still doing the same things that we've done as teenagers? If so, why? Why? Why are we doing the same things? Get some sun in here. Why are we still making those moves, you know? And I'm usually a lot slower to make my beds in the morning. I usually take off all the blankets. I didn't really move too much last night. So it, it's catching, it's catching myself. It's realizing, yeah, I am doing the same exact things I've been doing for the last 20 years of adulthood, right? Because I'm 40 today. And the 20 years prior, I was still a child, a teenager, which is still a child. And now as I enter, or I am in this new decade, I think about, wow, okay, so my, my skin is changing, my hair is changing. You see there's a lot more gray hairs. Um, even learning how to take care of my hair has been a journey I've talked about here. Learning how to take care of my skin, working out again, has been a journey in itself. Finding space in my home to feel like a home. You know, I took the my gallery wall down. I, I, I'm moving things around. I'm getting rid of big things that are in my house, taking up so much space and just wanting to make room for, for more, for new. And discovering just who I am in this time, in this space, in this home, in this life to others, to myself, to God, right? And I'm in a season of needing great change. If you follow my business page, Transaction Care, I recently decided, and I was, this thought was lingering in my head for months, for months, you know, and I feel like some decisions require a long thinking period, but who I was a couple years ago, I would have sat on this decision for two years. Thankfully, this year it was just months. And I decided to change the name of my podcast, you know, after almost having it for two years and realizing I do not like the name of my podcast. I really don't. I just, I lost connection to it. I don't like it. It was called Transaction Care and I changed it to The Keys. I work in real estate, so I wanted to keep it within that theme, but also I didn't want to be pigeon held into just talking about transactions, you know, or, and I also felt like the message of the care for transactions was going over people's heads. <laughs> um, and I also thought about marketing, you know, what's easier to market, you know, the keys versus transaction care podcast. So anyway, what I'm getting at is I am in a season of great change, meaning big risks, big pivots, big stops, running, sprinting instead of walking and crawling or sitting. And that terrifies me because I don't know what those changes are looking like. I just know that I have to go through that. And it's, it's all still very unknown. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's me running a marathon. I know I'm not going to run a marathon, but if it's something to that effect. You know what I mean? Like joining, I saw someone post an archery competition yesterday. And I was like, is it that? You know, so I think it's going to be fun and simultaneously a little scary, but I'm learning how to let go of the fear. I'm learning how to not allow fear to rule me or dictate or make my decisions for me, which I have in the past. And although I like, I feel it, I feel the newness like in my chest, like sitting there. It also could be all the, the guacamole I ate yesterday, but truly I know that big changes are on the horizon. And as much as I love being a homebody, you know, it, there's big changes ahead. And I don't know what those are. All I know is that I can document the process. I can sit in the process. I can learn to listen 
more. I can learn to be more still. And I can learn to be more active. I know it all seems kind of general and, and unreal at the moment, but I'm just, it's because I'm in it. I'm in it. And if you're in a season of great change as well, what are you going through? Like, what are you feeling? Are you allowing yourself to feel, to think, to experience this, this, this moment in time, you know, and it could be even like drastic coats of paint on my wall. As you see, it's it's a blank canvas. I have blank canvases everywhere. And I think that's also going to be a part of the process is how I want to actually decorate my home. You know, something I've never really gotten to do in, in the 40 years. You know, I've gotten to decorate my spaces, but the entirety of the home is different. You know, from my porch to my office, from my bedroom to the staircase. And learning to be grateful for my space. You know, that's like a message that was in, you know, uh, at the, gratitude is something I've been constantly learning <laughs> to, to enforce in my life, you know, leading with gratitude. And it really does make a difference. So life is happening. Life is beautiful. Life is messy. Life is a blessing. I have clothes everywhere that is another part of this, this whole change, you know, season of, of big change is also my fashion, my sense of style. Who am I in my 40s? You know, I I love cozy wear. I love street wear. I love t-shirts and sweats, but I also like to dress it up a little bit. You know, nothing too fancy, nothing like ballroom status all the time, but I like to look fly and I like to, I like to, to feel good when I get dressed. And for years and years and years, I did not. I did not. I was not secure in my own body. And that's something I'm always working on. And I'm working on more by working out, by monitoring what I eat, catching myself when I'm starting to indulge more than usual, learning to let go of old clothes and, and, and hoodies and sweatshirts that no longer serve me, but keeping them around just because I don't want to do laundry. <laughs> I don't want to do laundry as frequently, you know? so. It's a whole process, but I do feel like I'm moving through these these stages of, of, of letting go a lot faster, which I'm grateful for because I put in a lot of work to, to get to this point of, of self-awareness and the desires, the desired outcomes that I want out of my life. And it's fun. It is fun. As scary as it can be, it, it, it is fun. This part is starting to feel fun, like the decorating part, the you know, and decorating like my body, how I want to present myself in the world you know so stay tuned I just woke up with this message on my heart and, and wanting to just talk I don't want to take these vlogs too serious you know I am a homebody but I also love a good adventure I love to travel I love to be outside I love to be with my friends be with my family you know talk to new people joining classes now has, has become a part of my repertoire so <laughs> I'm just bringing you guys along for the ride as we go. Some vlogs, most vlogs will be in the house. Some will be outside, but you're going to see new color, new colors on the wall, maybe murals, maybe more posters, decorations. So, and fashion wise, fitness wise, faith wise, like things are changing. Things are happening. I love it. And I'm grateful for this platform that I can showcase my journey as I go and even in the moments where I don't feel like it, or if I let my hair or, you know, if I feel bloated that day stop me, then I feel like I'm doing it all for the wrong reasons. Today, I just picked up the camera and said, let me record. You guys have seen the inside of my house before. <laughs> it's not like I have anything to hide, uh, but it just, it also just doesn't have to be like the most clean. You know, I let a lot of things get in my way of just hitting record and talking because I don't know what these messages are for or who they're for. I'm just allowing God to work through me, talk through me, and just go from there. So I will tap in whenever the next vlog drops, but follow me on social media, subscribe, and this is Fire Life. It's your girl Lils. Life is a blessing.